good kitten wants more internet. Uh, Zone is actually right next to me at the moment. You can't, you can see his tail briefly, but that's about it. He's not wanting to get up on top of the pedestal for some reason. Maybe if I rotate the pedestal so he can see what I'm trying to indicate. You want to come up here? Come on, Zonki. Come on up. <laughs> at the very least, you can say hi that way. There we go. Good kitten. There's a good kitten right there. Anyway, where we last left off, we are in the Valeria Chateau. Um, is there anything I have to care about right now? Oh yeah, there is. Everybody's healed, which means I need to go get... So we're going to have a ritual for a while, which is going to Silverland Castle and getting um, forgetfulness on Ashley. It's going to happen a lot. Okay. Kenny. I'm made of warm right now. That's probably why he's doing this. Um, arms reloading is right here. Yes, please. Be seeing ya. All right. Bring that up to five. Softener should be at five. We cannot buy healing items in this game, so we are permanently down those like tennis healing items that I used. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is teleport to Silverland so we can go get forgetful again. Uh, teleport jam, Silverland Castle. Save state. We're actually going to be going to helmets for reference so I can go stock up on things, but it's going to take a bit. Right, Zone? Right. Man traps. Three of them. Sweet. Nope, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Screw it. I'm just going to reload the save state so I can hopefully trigger the same random encounter. I don't think I'm triggering the same random encounter. I was surprised. And amnesia on Ashley. Sweet, that's exactly what I wanted. I just received a text message. All right. Um So, now that Ashley has been Cured of his affliction of gaining experience. Now we can go conquer everything else. Um, pineapple them. Spark the drugger. Wicker. I know it's supposed to be a reference to the D&D &D thing. And we gained a toy hammer. Nice. Ah. All right, now that Ashley's been fixed, we can actually go to Helmets. I could use a Teleport Gem. It's a waste of 100 Gela in my mind. It's not exactly far away. And it means some more random encounters, which might not be a bad idea right now. Just need to take that thing out fast. Probably should have just magic now that I think about it. I keep forgetting that Lilka is actually strong enough to cast magic on turn one. Also, should be paying more attention and actually having them target different people. That would make sense. I'm not with it at the moment. It's getting a little late at night. What, uh, 2030? 
Brad and Luca both leveled up to 14. Nice. Uh, actually, uh, oh, you're gonna go over there? Okay. Uh, I'm actually gonna pause this for a moment. I need to respond to that text message. Give me a moment. All right. I uh, responded. I might need to pause it again in a moment. You can now see where Golgotha Prison is, along with the... I mean, there's a reason why it got named Golgotha Prison. That's the reason for the content warning. It should have been fairly obvious, but... You know, just because. For those that are not up to their Christian mythology, that is theoretically where um, Jesus of Nazareth was crucified. So, you know, it's a thing. All right, personal skills. We absolutely have a bunch of personal skills that we should spend. Save the world! All right, so now this is no longer anywhere near as important as it was before. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase a parameter. So what that is is that bread will increase in power on force increases. Remember when we had discovered that that was kind of the case in Wild Arms 1? This is actually tweaking that measure. Um, alternately, what I could do is... Uh, whatchamacallit, um, up magic defense, just because his magic defense is pretty terrible, or up physical attack, because it can always do more damage. But I think I'm going to go with up parameter to start on Brad. On Luca, on the other hand, I'm increasing physical defense. She's going to need it. And Ashley will not have personal skills for a long time. We'll just go a long time. And weapon shopped. Which we didn't get a chance to do anything with before. Never had heroes in the store before. We protect Phil Gaia with weapons bought from me. Capitalism ho. Greyhound. I don't understand why Greyhound's the name of a bayonet, but okay. Sunshade. That makes sense. And Knuckle Arm. Damn ducks. What an honor. I've never had such distinguished customers. Are you going to buy something? Yeah, I don't think they have anything that I don't already have. I'll just get one more teleport gem. We'll eventually get a what's called a teleport orb, which allows us to teleport without having to use up gems. But that's going to take a bit. And that's why I'm going to keep a few in stock. Welcome, welcome. Make magic here and use it to make the world peaceful. Uh, is there anything that I need to do? Okay. I've got four... Let's get our elemental spells. And maybe Rise and Shine? And I've got one more. Hmm. Shield. Uh, do I need anything else? Not yet. How am I doing on money? 6,000 Gela. Okay, so I can buy a few more things. I want to save about 5,000 for the next town because that's where they have armor. But it's probably not a bad idea to increase some of these. Because if you haven't noticed, towns are not necessarily as common as they were in Wild Arms 1. There we go. All right. Um, I'm not going to upgrade any arms right now. Although I am going to... I did spend one ammo. Refill. My competitors will be so envious. <sighs> okay. Uh, let's see. There's a couple of items here. I can see the sun again. I had my doubts for a while. Thought I'd spend the rest of my days in that gray dankness. Gray dankness. Good job, Wild Arms. Because that is definitely dankness and not darkness. That is an N. You can tell from the letter after the K, that is definitely an N. That gray dankness. Well, let me just verify that there's... Oh, there is something here. Ah, Memo Hen. 
This is actually where I was looking for. And that means there's something in here too. Yep. Bloop. Bloop. A lucky card. Thought I'd never get out alive. Or that I'd already be dead. Or wait, did that say I'd already be died? Or that I'd already died. Okay. That I'd already died. That I would already died? Thought I'd be locked in there forever. I was about to lose all hope. Yeah, by the way, the people here like you. Just saying. Just a little bit. This is unbelievable. I'm so glad to have come back, but I didn't know this had happened. This bell tower is the symbol of our town. What a fate for it. Yep, bell tower is just destroyed. I believe it's destroyed for the entire game. I don't think it ever gets repaired or anything. It's not like Wild Arms 1 where you can repair... Um, Excuse me. Uh, Adelaide. Now, why is Zone just looking away? I don't know, but whatever. Thanks a lot for helping me. When I grow up, I want to be a defender of justice, just like you! Thing outdoors. There is that. How mysterious. That was originally my great grand great great grandfather's. Wonder how where he got it. Who had any idea there was a monster inside of it? So don't do any mischief, you hear? Making noise here is inexcusable. Like a song of some variety to wake up whatever's in there and fight a random encounter. And by random I mean boss. Hidden boss. Why me? Why do things like this happen to nice people like me? Who could those dirty... What can those dirty rats be thinking? I'm pretty sure they're thinking, Wahaha, I want to take over the world. Mostly because I keep seeing them say, Wahaha, I want to take over the world. So keep in mind, Silverland is very pacifistic. They're modeled after elves. It's really obvious that they're modeled after elves. And I think we've actually finished walking through all of Silverland, believe it or not. There's really not much here. It's the save point in... Did I already go in here? Pretty sure I did, yeah. We'll save and we'll head over to Helmets. Or to Holst, not Helmets. We're in helmets right now. All right. So we can actually go to either one of those right now. I'm going to Holtz just because there's a town there and thus I can buy armor. That makes sense to me at least. I probably shouldn't be canceling those random encounters now that I think about it. I am still a little low level. You can't see me because I am blur. Okay, I'm no longer blur. Let's actually scan something. Although man traps I really don't want to deal with, so I might just... Yeah, I'm just going to kill them. Uh, they're plants. Maybe they're weak against lame? Yep, they are. I was correct. They're also weak against Brad. Ponch. That is going to be a running joke for when we play through Wild Arms 3, is that everything's weak against Clive. It will make a lot more sense once we actually get to the game. Clive is probably one of my favorite RPG protagonists. Ever. Anyway, welcome back to the live reflector. Reflector. All right. So that goes back to the Green Forest and Maria Bull. That goes to Dragon's Vein. And that goes to the Ruins Mine. We want to go to the Dragon's Vein. I think. 
All right, welcome to wherever this is, the dragon thing. I'm pretty sure that's because this path is in the shape of a dragon. Uh, yes, this is correct. That looks like a town. It's not. Looks like one. That's the bridge that they were talking about in the book, by the way, where it's linking the two inner seas together. We are surprised by whatever those things are. They look. Um, they look frightening. Ooh, they're actually doing damage. Spores. And you get a poison? Confusion? Confusion. Of course. Well, at least take one of you out, and I'm pretty sure Brad can do massive amounts of damage to Lilka. Luckily, Brad is just in a punching mood. I don't think Wild Arms 2 does the control problem thing. I'm gonna find out. Yeah, I know, the satisfaction's already gone. There? Nope, that's just an item. It's a lucky card. So yeah, that's the shoal. Wow, the water looks weird. Are you in this corner? Nope. Don't have a choice. At least I'm not surprised this time. Two flying. A lot of... Oh, crap. Those are assassin bugs. They can one-shot you, by the way. Always. They have an instant death attack. You're getting pineappled. I'm gonna choose freeze on the berserker. I have no idea what to choose. Hmm. I was correct. Unfortunately, Brad is not fast enough. Dead end. You are one-shotting Lilka. Oh, it missed. Good. Die. I hate you. Yep, we're back to the I hate you attacks. All right. I really want to know what the heck level things are. Berserker. Level 14. I believe we're level 15. Weak against water and ice. Interesting. I think they're also weak against bread, though. So, yeah, we're level 15, aren't we? Sorry, I have a cat here right on my nose. It keeps itching. Uh, no, we are 14. Okay. Maybe it's that way, actually. I might have gotten turned around. Well, these are just berserkers, so... Easy enough to fight. Aqua. <laughs> Herc. Launch. Oh, I don't have the correct equipment. That's fine. Launch. I just realized that I still have the equipment from fighting earlier, which was very specific. Uh, equip. Instead of blue gear, you have a mystic word. And yes, we have to keep those scapegoats precious at the moment. I think just in the wrong spot or something. I might be doing this backwards now that I think about it. Yep, I went to the wrong spot. That explains it. Can you run away, please? Ah, oh, crap. 
Luca's dead. Red's dead. Game over. Let's try that again, shall we? I used up the Gimmel coin because it's been a while since I last saved state. And I didn't want to deal with that. Saving state now, though. It's not a big deal. I mean, I usually end up not using any of those Gimmel coins, so it's better to have them. It's red that I want to go to, apparently. Yellow's the not populated region. Bonk, 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 bonk. I don't know why the globe looks like an Earth map. I just noticed that. Mostly because the textures are impossible to read normally. All right. This looks more likely. I just don't remember where anything is anymore. Oh, apparently I was stepping on it. Yeah, by the way, when the camera doesn't move and uh, Ashley moves around, that's actually not me controlling it. Welcome back to another Wild West theme. Holst here was always a mining town. The chaos is what people here love about it. If you can mine and watch your back for monsters at the same time, then you're all set in this town. Yeehaw. That's the inn. Inns are scary. We're not going to an inn. They would cure my status effect. They would inflict me with the curse of gaining levels. We can't have that. As recently, some maniac merc came around here to make it rich and hurry with some explosives. He thought he could do anything with enough explosives. He even exploded some in the inn. Got kicked out for it, of course. That's why everyone calls him Maniac. Explosives are basically just bombs used for mining rock. We don't like to call them bombs, though. Gaze mirror. I actually don't remember what that item is. Nullifies petrification. Okay, that would make sense. Oh, derp. They even said it. Oop, that's an exit here, isn't it? No, I need to go back into the inn. Right, they just said that there's bombs. Some maniac was using bombs in the inn, so I need to go grab them. Herp, derp. Three dimensions. It's in bed. Bombs. Pushing square will place a bomb at your feet. It will explode after a set amount of time. Bombs may be used to blast open wooden boxes or destroy walls that already have cracks in them. Should look familiar. So it's the same tool as what Rudy had in Wild Arms 1. Nothing. Got it. They say here's a lot of crystals in the ground near Holst. All the men say they have lots of fun digging for crystals and killing monsters. Yeehaw. Oh, did you notice that? That is a fluorescent light. Technology. Electricity. Other things that end in E. Horrible camera angles. The usual. 
Men should not mind with uh, men should mind with their muscles, not with no stinking TNT. I won't have those weaklings in my inn. All right. Um. Actually, give me warning. Let's not have Brad get confused anymore. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, we don't have to avoid crystals anymore because Ashley is not constantly needing to be killed. Ashley instead is just constantly confused in the back row. Problem solved. All right, these things are probably not going to be possible for us to kill. They usually run away on the first turn. Or just end their own lives on the first turn. Ooh, they heal from that. Interesting. Boom. I like just blowing up all the rocks anyway. Because I can. Uh, fork in the road, take the right path. That's not a path, that's just a box. This is not actually a fork. I'll leave those crystals because I think... Uh, no, actually, people are injured. Never mind. Why did I start getting a southern accent again? So, fun fact, even though I am from the American South, I am not really from the American South. So, the way the United States works is that the Deep South is a section of the United States that actually ends part of the way through the state of Florida. I am from further in the south of Florida, and as a result, um, as a result, I don't have a southern accent. I instead have a Michigander accent, even though I've never lived in Michigan in my life. And the reason for that is... Um, Floridians have a Michigan accent because South Florida, or South Floridians, I should say, was not settled until after the advent of radio. I accidentally hit load. One moment. Do, 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 do. Save state. Oh, no, it's menu toggle. Undo save state. Or undo load state. There we go. And I'm going to resave state just in case. There we go. Pausing a little bit. Huh. I wonder if I can actually pull this off in a windowed bone now. I think it still looked off, though. There we go. And I'll just leave that. All right. This is the fork. So yeah, basically you have to use Accelerator in order to be able to fight those. And that requires you to be level 25 with Ashley, and I am level 3. Needless to say, not happening anytime soon. Angle Mineshaft. Ruins mine up ahead. Go ahead and save. I know this area because this is one of the last areas in the game that I've been to. Because there is a very special hidden boss here. Or optional boss, I should say. They're not really well hidden given that you've already seen the little floating crystal thing.
Up, 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 up. We're not going in there right now, though. We're going this way. After the battle. Water leapers. Pineapple? Hmm. Normal damage. I would have expected more. Steam explosion! How? Pineapple. I missed. That's fine. Zap. Defensive posture. Increases defense, which means I might not be able to one-shot. Yeah, I still one-shot it. Ooh, gained a Hillberry. Nice. So yeah, Hillberries being drops are not a problem, unlike it was in Wild Arms 1. Well, not that it was a problem, just... You had no reason for it. That is Raku or Gala. AM cluster acquired. This the AM cluster is a heavy arm used by Brad. This anti-missile, anti-monster missile unit will launch a random attack against the enemy. Boom. I mean, if it lives, I'll go ahead and try to attack it. I don't get any XP for them when they do that, by the way. It should really just be called Runaway. I would prefer them not to use the term Suicide. There's a lot of enemies here, by the way, that won't make sense in the game, and they'll make much more sense later on. They're special. But we don't have any abilities that do anything with them. I am fully healed. Actually, only 125 hit points. <laughs> Just, I'm not used to seeing how bad look it is. That is, is that a leprechaun? It is a leprechaun. We have to be careful with leprechauns. They can do a lot of damage. I think they're supposed to be weak against flame? Ozone Pulse. And Confusion on Loka. Cool. Well, on the plus side, Confusion on Loka is nowhere near as bad as Confusion on Brad. Because Loka only does 59 damage. Brad could come close to one-shotting Loka. Actually, no. Loka has a lot of hit points. I don't think that's the case. Launch. Please, just let me flame you. By electricity. That's the one I was supposed to be warned about. Does a lot of damage. That wasn't a lot of damage. What the heck? Why did you warn me about by electricity then? Nope. Mm. Just they have a lot of hit points. Mysterious power halts machines. I cannot use any arms right now. I don't think I've ever noticed that. Better heal yourself just in case. Oop. Too late. <laughs> ah. I'm not going to bother using a revive fruit. I can't get confused, so this is nowhere near as big of a problem.
This might take a bit. Or it might be very quick. This is concerning. Why do you have so many hit points? I can't scan them because I'm kind of busy trying to kill it. There. 840 XP is a lot of XP for this early in the game. Oh yeah, that's right. He'll be raised to 500, not 200. That'll do for now. Okay. Ready for puzzles? Because it's Wild Arms, so we've got puzzles. Explosive Rock Excavator. Clear area before using. Curious. Yep, it does in fact hit me. Cool. I was just wondering. It's a block-like object made from unusual material. Looks like patience is necessary to break it. Or lots of bombs. Patience is overrated. There are four proofs of attack. One is a key. I think that's just a bad translation. We're going to have a lot of bad translation, by the way. Yep, this is not foreboding at all. This is called Agulite. It's a type of energy. Ow, it's so beautiful. It looks like a jewel. Agulite and Germatron. Two are said to be high-density crystals, which supported ancient civilizations' energy needs. The energy stored in the ruins was extracted naturally over time. Entombed in the earth, it has become a corpse of sorts that has been dug out as a crystal. People are drawn to light, and that's strong and fleeting. They think it'll make them shine. Wow, you're smart. You're so smart. They were Bandic, too. Agulite and Germatron are used to revive lost technology. It's one of the measures used to resurrect the deadly weapons created by ancient civilizations. Its light brings destruction. It causes the black wings of death and destruction to flutter. That's why people want it. Irving would never, would never do that, right? Irving is an asshole. Sorry. He's not trying to get it for that, right? <sighs> I believe power. Power itself isn't good or bad. I believe what's key is the heart of the person who uses it. Of course, Mighty Morphin Power Ashley is going to say that. So... Yeah, we're screwed. It's Irving. I think you're right. It'll be okay, right? Agulate acquired. Water required. And I have drank, well, once this cup is, uh, once this cup is done, I will have drank three liters of water and recording about three and a half hours of video. I've probably sweated out about half of it already. No need to ever stay. I'm going to finish this mission and go back. Do you prefer the light from the sun? That's it. There's nothing else in the dungeon.
All right, we're heading back. I always like doing a little ping just in case if I find random items. It's always nice. I like the live reflectors in this better than the yellow pyramids in Wild Arms 1. Just because they look cooler. Okay. So yeah, the instant death is going to suck because there's not much we can do about it. Oh, I still have auto battle on. Why did I attack? That was dumb of me. Luca has more than enough force points to do things. Also, Luca needs to heal. Because we're a little low on health right now. Uh, heal Luca first. And then heal Brad. Heal! And Ashley's just going, I'm a banana! Huh, Brad leveled up. Nice. He's been in two battles extra compared to Wilka right now, so not too surprising. I think it's over here. Think it's the dark spot? Oh, I actually didn't even fully heal Brad. Wow, Loka's magic is garbage. Paunch. Oh, these were the ones that were weak against ice and water. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. Recommendations is to beef up Lilka's defense some. This is not it. Poopy. <laughs> I'll go like this for now, and I'll just beef up the defense once I actually find where in the world I'm supposed to go. Oh, Three assassin bugs. Just turn off auto battle. Uh, why can't I use the AM cluster anyway? Oh, I don't have enough force points, right? Herp a derp. They need to die. You can be frozen. Missed. Normal attack. Missed. Good. Stupid instant death. Nobody likes you, instant death. Okay, I'm going to try this way instead. Oh, I bet it's the green spot. No, oh, maybe not, actually. Should have been close enough. Missed. 
normal attack. That's fine. Punch in the face. Spark? I'm just guessing on elemental weaknesses. I don't want to deal with instant death. So I should mention, there actually are ways of preventing instant death, and not just the piece of equipment that makes you immune to instant death. Um, you can actually have status effect resistance as some of your personal skills. I'm not doing that because of the way this run is working, I'm going to need the stats. <coughs> are you on the tip? Something is. It's a scapegoat. That's not what I was looking for. All right, where in the world is the Reliant Observatory? Reliant Observatory. Leyline is what it's supposed to be, but whatever. Break? Bonk, 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 bonk. Nope. Paunch. Okay, don't have to worry about them. Yeah, you can hate me as much as you want. You're not them. Really need to reorganize my magic, I think. Oh, I don't think I can do that until I'm at a uh, rest place. There we go. Uh, 47 minutes. Can we actually finish this dungeon in the time? I think we can. Okay. This is where we need to boost up Lilka's defense as much as possible. You're getting the mittens. And you are actually getting Grudyev. Something that suspicious is really quite a feat. Even so, acting like we didn't see it might not be so good. Well, in this case, it's acting like we didn't hear it. Oh boy. Yep, boss time, immediately. Elemental spirit undines. Undines. Oh, my traveling friends. This treatment with no explanation. Art. Who the heck are they? A uh, human? Lizard? Are they half and half just like as they seem? They fit it together a little too well. Can't be. Hmm. It can't be? Kick. Kick. Don't just stand there talking. Words have no real power after all. I can't move a hand, leg, or tail. Our consciousness and fate are in a nosedive. I don't fully understand, but I won't sleep well if this keeps up. I'll give you the details after we save them. So, we have a boss battle. I'll explain more about our Lizardian friends after the battle. Um, Mm 
More defense. Punch. Locked on AM cluster. Uh, do, 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 do. Infinita? Speeding up Lilka so she can actually go first. AM cluster. Remember, it's a random attack, so it won't necessarily do the same to both parts, but it did in this case. You faster yet? No. Lock on and bluster. Um, throw one more quick on Luca. Reject all fools. You know what that does? Nothing. Except it causes all magic to miss. Arms are not magic, though. Welp. Need to heal Lilka. Uh, the boss has a very powerful attack. He just hasn't used it. Why do you hurt me? Uh, it's still faster than me. Dang, that boss is fast. Not that underleveled. Maybe like a level or two off. Uh, Lilka, go ahead and quick yourself again, I guess. Launch. Counter attack. Hmm. That's a problem. Uh, how much does Bazooka do by comparison? Hooky bust. 500 damage. That's the one I was concerned about, by the way. 1,040. Wow. Okay. Guess that's what you're doing from now on. Um, heal yourself, please don't die. Uh, you're hooky busting, Brad. That's fine. He can take a hit. Punch. Counterattacking, not good. Lock on bazooka. Uh, heal Brad. Be nice if I had more heal berries, but I don't. Bring Brad. Spread up. How are you? <laughs> oh, it's dead. Cool. And I'm out of water. A lot of XP. And I gained a Gimmel coin! And yes, I am intentionally not using my lucky cards right now. Phew, phew, for a joke, it sure came close to death on the job. Okay, let's keep going. Ah, here is adventure is about to start here and now. It's dangerous, so I need you all to take cover. Thanks for asking. Uh, what? I am Liz, and this is my assistant. Ard! Ard! Hey, it's Ard. You're kidding. You understand what he's saying? We've known each other for a long time, but not after just two or three malts. Nope. Ard! What are you guys doing here? 
As you can see, we are kind-hearted children of science. <laughs> no matter how I look. I don't see that, but please continue. This is a volcanic region. The energy that continually spouts from the Earth is a perfect is perfect for an excursion in peacetime. This is a scientist's ambition. It can't be stopped until it's fulfilled. Oh, such honorable intentions. We don't understand. And so we're leaving. Nope, nope, don't leave me here. How about having a party to boost morale? The alternating events of joy and sorrow will taint future developments. Okay, I understand. Let's work together here at the observatory. Just don't hold us back, please. Wow, what a delight. Not holding one back is my specialty. I was born for this day. Art, art, art. At the very least, I expect three Kotos. Do you live justly? As a resourceful general, let's get to that gate. After that, so, Liz and Ard are the comic relief of this game. Just like Zed was the comic relief of Wild Arms 1, Liz and Ard are the comic relief of Wild Arms 2. You'll notice that the translation is very rough, to put it mildly, and that's intentional. What they did was, so in Japanese, um, it's not Liz and Ard, it's the, I can't remember, the, Tokenge, there we go. Um... Toka is a poet. He is spouting off Japanese poetry, very similar to what Zed was doing. Only in Wild Arms 2, they transliterated him to make it intentionally hard to understand what in the world he's saying. Ard just says Ard. Yep, that's it. Let's go. <laughs> What's the... Oh, I can see it! Don't talk so loudly, it echoes. So essentially, the lever on the other side needs to be moved? A vision flashed on my lids of me pushing the lever like a bee and dancing like a butterfly. <laughs> All for wanting the title of Shooting King! Ha ha ha! Do you have a plan? With the scientific endorsements, we've got more than we can handle. But isn't that what anyone with unusual characteristics hopes for? It's just like the selfish expectations transfer students harbor. I don't care what it is, just hurry up. Being impatient is a waste of energy. Be that as it may, the Shooting King's background has no close relationships. Let's go, Ard, the Friendship Cross! Ard! Herc! Oh, my rays are invading like an air raid. Oh, the ever-changing panorama. We're in for it. Yeah, really rough translation, to put mildly. And if you try to leave without him... You can't just leave me here. It is I, the one who loved you. We can't just abandon Liz, unfortunately, as much as I would like to. Punch drunk momentalism. You okay there, Shooting King? A homing instinct brought me back from a secret flower garden. That a healthy spirit comes from a healthy body is an old joke indeed. I wonder if this is where I got my love of absurdist theater. Think that does anything? No. Oh no, a trap. And that resets it. What I would like to do is just push one of those. Well, it looks like the trap's been reset. Really, though, nothing's been resolved. What will you do? Only such a novice would become unhinged by such an historical emergency. So, do you have a plan? How I've waited for those words. 
It's easy. Just run through before the wall shuts. Sounds just like an antelope. Do you understand, Kitty? Art, art. I really wish I knew what they were actually saying in Japanese. That would probably make more sense. When you guys do it, it looks like a collar lizard. Oh, never mind. It looks like it's worth trying. Hard. Ah, what a tragedy. I will assist even at the risk of my life. Let's go, samurai. Ra! Ra! Freedom! Freedom! What the heck are you doing? Are you going to cheer? We better do something ourselves. I can't very well desert a friend. I'm now curious to see what they say. It's driving me nuts. I can't just leave them. I don't mind leaving them, but I doubt I'd sleep too well. Hard. Is there a doctor here? Ard, 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 well, that's awfully short. Are you sure you're translating correctly? And while your buddy's in a crisis situation, you're doing a silly dance prayer. Hmm, the dance prayer. How manic. That's not a dance prayer. It does promise satisfaction. It's very popular in the Agaruto region. Let's go. Just don't dilly-dally. But... As a practical problem, isn't it not letting an intellectual speak the same as a death sentence? Quonk. I much prefer Zed, by the way. If it wasn't painfully obvious. You no longer have a cute ribbon. You now have a barrette. Also, your luck is worst. Maybe I should just stop by an inn for a little while just to reset luck. Maybe after the next time um, Ashley's actually healed. The hell are they? Lily pads. Lily pads. Okay, what the hell? Oh, that's... It's set for defensor still. Mm. Might as well heal because you're not fully healed yet. Loka leveled up to 16. This section of the game. And yeah, this one's gonna run long also because there's no safe point in the middle. I don't think there is at least. Oh, I could have just popped down. I didn't know there was anything else. Oops. I was waiting for that to happen. <sighs> Ah, 
I didn't like this that much when I was a kid going through this, and I like this even less. Oh, it's another lever, and it's this kind again. Everybody just looks at Art. Or at Liz. Well, why do you stare at me? Such intensity is hard to ignore. After all, it's just one body. Well, since you're a scientist, I wonder if you can do something. Something scientific, that is. I understand, let's fly. Everyone's scientific hopes make me strong. There's a fine line between fantasy and reality. And fly. It's not even witty, much less scientific. Let's go, Ard! The Friendship Cross! Chuck. Dizzy Lizzy! Let's get going. Hey, Ashley, he's staring at us. Don't look at him. Just pretend he's not there and keep going. You won't petrify, but judging from previous experiences, you might lose conscious. consciousness. He's doing a body dance. Don't leave me behind. It is I, the one who loved you all. <sighs> Let me go get help. You promise? That's a promise, right? Quick run. Okay, there is a save point. So we'll go ahead and save this here. And next time you will get the rest of the Liz and Ard treatment. I may just record that now just so I can get this out of the way because otherwise I'm just going to dread this. Alright, talk to you next time, internet. Bye!